In the realm where dreams are forged and legends are born, the world unites for a single glorious spectacle, the World Cup. For Valentini, this is the pinnacle of a lifelong dream. From the dusty streets where he first kicked a ball to the grandest stage of them all, his journey has been one of perseverance and passion. Every goal, every assist, every heartbeat has led to this. Goosebumps rise as the world watches. This is football. This is the World Cup. And this is Valentini's time. Hello Vance Studios viewers, this is Samantha Vincent reporting on behalf of Sky Sports News. Today I bring you the special and crucial highlights of the 2026 World Cup. In the group stage, Valentini and Italy faced Morocco in a thrilling encounter. Morocco started off strong, scoring an impressive and unexpected goal that left everyone stunned. Their passing was simply beautiful, showcasing their skill and cohesion. However, minutes later, Italy responded with determination and skill. A well-executed team play led to an equalizing goal by Scamacca, reigniting hope and excitement among the Italian fans. The match's intensity and drama set the stage for an unforgettable World Cup moment. Italy's second group stage game was against Croatia, and it began with a brilliant counter-attack from the Croatians. A superb cross found its mark, finished with a powerful header that left Italy with a mountain to climb. But the Italian superstar Valentini rose to the occasion, delivering an exquisite over-the-head through ball to Scamacca, who equalised, keeping Italy in the game at 1-1. Valentini's leadership and vision, making him the top assister of the tournament so far, guided Italy to yet another dramatic victory. In the round of 16, Italy faced Hungary in a match filled with tension and excitement. The Italian star Valentini opened the scoring with a brilliant goal, his first of the tournament, giving Italy an early lead and helping to alleviate the team's stress. His exceptional performance this season was on full display. However, Hungary, determined not to go out easily, equalised through Dominic Soboslai, signalling that the match would be a fierce battle. Despite Hungary's resilience, Italy ultimately triumphed taking a 2-1 lead that sent manager Luciano Spalletti into uncontrollable celebration. In the final moments, Valentini nearly scored what would have been the goal of the tournament, but the ball fell to Mattia Zaccagni, who scored in the last minute. The stadium erupted in cheers as Italy secured their place in the next round. And now it's the quarterfinals, where Italy takes on Portugal. Italy started off with great pressing, and the ball fell to Valentini, who dribbled past defenders to set up Scamacca once again, solidifying their reputation as a dangerous duo in the tournament. Valentini's vision, often underrated, has truly shone in this World Cup, with this assist marking his fourth of the tournament. In the 42nd minute, Valentini received the ball and delivered a perfect cross to Scamacca, who finished with a brilliant header. This marked Valentini's fifth assist in the 2026 World Cup, an impressive feat for his first appearance in the tournament. Italy secured a decisive win, propelling them into the semi-finals. Now, Italy faces Sweden in the semi-finals, setting the stage for an intriguing match. As the game nears its end, Pellegrini unleashes a powerful shot, giving Italy renewed hope and bringing them closer to reliving the 2006 dream. With an outstanding performance from the entire Italian squad, they secure their place in the 2026 World Cup final. This achievement sets up one of the biggest challenges of Valentini's career as he prepares to lead Italy in the ultimate battle for football's most coveted prize. Valentini has now tallied five assists in six appearances, showcasing his exceptional vision and playmaking skills. With Italy prepared and mentally ready, they face a formidable Spain side that has also excelled in this World Cup. As the final approaches, it's Valentini's time to give his all for his country, aiming to lead Italy to glory and etch his name in football history.
After an intense shootout between Italy and Spain, Locatelli scored the decisive penalty kick, creating the biggest moment for Valentini and all Italian fans. The stadium erupted in celebration, marking an unforgettable performance from an international side filled with memorable moments. The 2026 World Cup has been an extraordinary experience for the 24-year-old Valentini, who earned his first call-up at 23, showcasing his rapid rise in football. With rumours swirling about Valentini leaving Manchester United, every top team in Europe is now vying for the tournament's most valuable player. Despite his challenges in the Premier League, Valentini's stellar World Cup performance has cemented his status as a football superstar. As he continues his career, he still faces the quest for a club league title and individual accolades. Here at Sky Sports, we congratulate Italy and Valentini on their remarkable achievement. Hello again, Vance Studios viewers. This is Samantha Vincent with your daily transfer news. This morning, we received surprising news from Fabrizio Romano. Valentini has agreed to sign with Juventus for two years with a weekly wage of $162,000, making him one of the most valuable players in the world. This decision might have been easy for the superstar, as he always dreamed of playing for Juventus, his home country club. Valentini has already completed his training, met his teammates and taken his official photos, marking the biggest transfer since Cristiano Ronaldo, a move that undoubtedly comes with a lot of pressure. Welcome to Juventus, Valentini. We wish you all the best. Stay oh, tuned for our Serie A coverage. And this one is interesting. A new player on board. Well, there's been a lot of talk about him recently. But he's gone short with it. Artur. Decides to shoot. Oh, a smart stop. And this is by no means over. Well, that save there has just about kept them in it. It's a substitution for Juventus. And there's the delivery. He might be able to do damage from here. 35 million pound mark, which in my view looks to be just about right. Let's hope he fits in quickly and justifies that price tag. It's going to be a free kick. And space to cross it. Looking for the angle. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did and that's the result. So underway again. Five minutes. That's a good looking shot. Oh, fine stop. Valentini might lead to a chance well no stopping him This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Kopp Mainers. Now a decent position. And there's a quality defender in action. Next. And the cross goes in. 
And now it is truly final. The match is over. Well, it was always going to be a big story, wasn't it? But his debut in... Valentini delivered a solid performance for the Juventus fans, preparing himself for the first league match, which is just a week away. His confidence from the World Cup was evident, but it's important to remember that this will be the most crucial and challenging season for Valentini. Juventus has struggled for the past two seasons, failing to secure even a spot in the Champions League. Valentini's objective is to help the team overcome these difficulties and live up to his high price tag before it becomes a point of criticism. His success with Juventus will not only impact the club's fortunes, but also define his legacy in Italian football. And a Juventus personnel change here. Attack to an end. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Can he get one back? Oh, a smart stop. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Can they stop it going in? And not hitting it with the accuracy he was hoping for. Well, he took a chance there, and he probably regrets it now. That was the wrong decision. Oh, he looks threatening. And it's a quality pass. In it goes! Oh! Lingering doubts about the Valentini and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Chance here, huge block. Thiago Jalo, element of risk there, but he's won the ball. The target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it's ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, it's another good display, and I have to say... A well Valentini delivered an impressive debut performance in the league, proving to be a positive addition to the Juventus squad. Although it's just the beginning, and the full extent of the challenges ahead remains uncertain, his impact is already felt. Now, his focus shifts to the UEFA European Championship qualifying. Riding the wave of recent success, Luciano Spalletti has called up Valentini once again to represent Italy in the crucial upcoming matches. Stay tuned for more updates on his journey. Uh, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. fans were hoping for this evening it's absolutely ideal my name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on have won they've only got one up front but there are two or three of the midfield players who love to break forward with quality but the most important players for me will be the winners they have to provide the energy and dynamism but will they have enough going the other way I'm not sure crucial interception amid in the ball as they make their way forward can he put them ahead so near, but wide. Zakanyi. Plenty of support here. Gives it a go. Can they cover up? Di Lorenzo. Do the nail, cut you right at the heel And it hurts No one can save you It's all on your mind to change to And baby, you can really try If you climb your way up Do it on your own when you shit out of luck No 
But it will help if you're flying too close to the sun Cause you're gonna get burned and the ball moving again. Sigankov. Oh, he's gone for goal! A oh, strong hand on the ball. In search of the equaliser. Playing it in. Just wanted to get it up. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Can they keep it going? And denied by the keeper. In determined defending. Firing it in. My goodness, that save. What a stretch he was. One for his own highlights reel. Really. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, disappointing clearance. Not really the high percentage option to try your luck from there. Well, his teammate. And on the ball, Shaparenko. Can they square the game? Well, it might still work out for them. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Oh, moving it nicely. And a strong glove on the ball. Since it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now, and really should be ahead in this one. Oh, hang on, Stuart! Support here. Oh, he saved it well. Gianluca Scamacca. Valentini. Pellegrini. Trying his luck. And a goal it is. But an all over the keeper should have done much, much better. Well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper has to do a lot better there. He's parried it out into a dangerous area, and suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. So uh, back underway, intriguing. Has a go. Well, he really wanted to make it a double and would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, he's been really good today. A constant threat to this defence. Struggling to get it away. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous. There's ten minutes remaining here. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Got to it fairly. This. He takes aim. Well, they really needed that save, and they're still in it. Yeah, what a good save that was. But can they find an equaliser here? Not long left. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. They take it short. Looking for a teammate. Just the challenge that was required. 
And the final whistle, it's a defeat for Italy, not the outcome their fans were hoping for. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it was a poor result. As mentioned before, the pressure on Valentini has been immense, and it showed in this game despite the goal he scored. It will be crucial to see how Italy and Valentini respond to this setback in the next match. The media and some fans may quickly turn on him, potentially making his season even more challenging. Please stay tuned as we follow Valentini's journey and see how he overcomes these obstacles. This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long and now for the action. What is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner ready to bring you all the Anap qualifier. It's Italy up against Norway, and no worries. But he's gone short with it. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Valentini might really be able to trouble them here but they took care of the situation defensively oh could be an opportunity here it's there for him and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save Who could he pick out? Was it a great clearance? The delivery. Half-hearted clearance. Now a decent position. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualified. Chance to cross. Able to deal. That is that for the first half here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what... ...successfully cut out. He takes aim. Oh, good save! Well, they're going for the short one. For another corner, can they cash in? Taken short and deliver towards the back post. Well, he failed to get it away properly, and wouldn't he love to have that opportunity back? Well, that should be 1 0, but that's not a good finish, is it? And threading it through, Ludicor reading it well. The assistant referee has raised us. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Well, oh, that's right. And unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. And the shot. Oh, good work by the keeper. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. So the corner played into the box. And a struggle to get it away properly. Right over for now, it seems. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Sound piece of defending.
Well, the ball is moving once more. Cross could be useful, but it's offside, and maybe his defending. Getting forward. Oh, well, might be. He got a good pound on it. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Well, time for the change now. Let's see about the delivery. What an important piece of defending. Holland. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? Is it going to be a goal? Sheer excitement. Level again here. When forever finally ends, all the promises are broken. No more fights to pick up the pieces. I left you with the parts of me. I don't want to see you again. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Can they forge ahead? on the goal that's made it 2-1 well the action is going to continue for a while yet we will have four minutes of stoppage time opportunity and there goes the final whistle it's a victory for Italy Stuart, what have you as we wrap up this episode we've seen Valentini navigate the highs and lows of an incredible journey from his stellar performance in the World Cup, where he showcased his extraordinary vision and playmaking skills, to his high-stakes transfer to Juventus, Valentini has proven himself to be a formidable force on the field. His debut with Juventus was a promising start, but the pressure is mounting as he now faces the dual challenge of revitalizing a struggling club and living up to his hefty price tag. Despite a solid debut, Valentini's recent game highlighted the immense pressure he's under. His upcoming performances for Italy in the UEFA European Championship qualifiers will be pivotal, not only for his career, but also for his reputation among fans and the media. The stakes are high and every match counts. Stay tuned as we continue to follow Valentini's journey, witnessing how he handles the pressure, the setbacks and the triumphs. Will he lead Juventus back to glory? Can he help Italy secure a spot in the European Championship? Only time will tell. For now, we celebrate his achievements and look forward to what lies ahead. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for more exciting updates on the world of football and the incredible stories that unfold.